Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video but before we get into that just a quick quick little announcement like this won't be too long so yeah you don't really need to skip if you want or if you, please be nice please watch no I'm kidding go ahead if you want but anyways we literally got 1.8 thousand views in less than 48 hours so that is crazy stuff and the subscribers have been going up like crazy so many many thanks to everyone it is much much appreciated like I literally can't believe the support on this so you guys um did want me to make a part two so i will be doing that but today we're gonna i'm gonna make like a shortened down edition of the previous episode uh, the, oh, sorry, previous episode because yeah it was quite long as you can see there so i'm gonna shorten it down so if, if anyone did, doesn't want to watch the other one this is a shorter one you can watch to, but yeah, there's less experience i guess like you won't know as much like you see the basically it's shortened down but i am recording it from scratch like it's not like reused footage or anything like that but anyways yeah i just can't believe like the amount of um, and also yeah many thanks for the support but i literally cannot believe the amount of like comments likes and subs we got from that video crazy crest um, also crazy 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 stuff so yeah and like i was saying back to the amount of support like the support has been phenomenal with like this like i literally can't thank you guys enough it's been such a great journey so far on youtube like i really think we can get somewhere like i i know we're still small like like 307 is not really much but once we get to a thousand like I think we've got some potential here to become quite a decently large channel, you know. That's that. But anyways, um, before we get in, or before I, yeah, I don't, I don't want to ramble on much more because, yeah, I want to get into the vid as well, actually. So, yeah, just a quick little announcement there. So, many, many thanks to everyone who's um, watching, subscribing, liking, leaving comments, giving ideas, all that good stuff. And, yeah, I'll see you in Universe Sandbox in, like, one sec. So, yeah, see you then. And, yeah, hopefully you have a good day and like the video. So, yeah, see you then. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. So today I'm actually returning to the simulation of where I colonized all of the planets because um, I'm making it, this video is going to be a shortened version. So today I'm doing a double upload. So for everyone who already watched the 50 minute one, yeah, feel free to move on to the next video because this is just the same stuff, just in a shorter amount of time. So yeah, that is that. So um, also a quick update on um, the channel. Yeah, we're doing we're doing really well right now. Like many many thanks to everyone who has like watched the video, left a comment, subscribed, and all that good stuff. Because our subscriber count has gone up so quickly recently, it's been insane. Many many thanks to everyone who has subscribed. Like it's much much appreciated. Like I just I can't believe it. Like it's awesome. But anyways, um, I already made like a start a part for this video, so you probably have already seen that me babbling on about it. So yeah. Anyways, into the video. So part two. So we are back to this simulation again with the colonized planets. So basically, I'm just going to do like an overview of it. So, yeah, we still have Planet 9, so I, I can't figure out a way to do it. So, yeah, I'm still stuck at Planet 9, but we've got our custom planets here. So, looks cool. Wait, that's a new thing. So I'm in a new update of the game. When you select the planet, it gets brighter. That's pretty weird. Why, why does it do that? It's probably a new bug. But yeah, new update. There'll be an update video coming out in a, well, probably a few minutes after this one so yeah that's all good but anyways so let's get into this so let's hit play and we're going to see all of our hatable planets um wake up so as actually told so let me get the um comments up from the previous video actually because um there's a lot of things i did wrong and i need, i want to correct myself so let's go into this because there's a lot of people and i want to like show up your suggestions as well so let's go into the video so it's getting crazy as well we are currently at 1.8 thousand views in less than a day or less than two days i'd say 48 hours so you guys really want a part two so i am going to do like pluto um i'm going to try and do sedna but that's gonna be really hard so um, that's that and i think the reason why i can't do planet nine is because it gets no sunlight so how can it how can it have a greenhouse effect if it doesn't even receive light to begin with like i think that could be why you can't get sunlight on planet nine so i don't think it is possible but yeah that is that so got some interesting things here so Let's have a look so someone said so about venus as well get you going to venus here so i was wrong venus is very active apparently so apparently it has volcanoes erupting every 20 minutes or 10 times a minute um this guy says yeah yeah 10 times a minute so apparently um that happens so yeah wanted to correct it there so that's pretty good so next up we also have um what's it um come on where's it so apparently um me talking about the temperatures apparently um 30 degrees isn't too hot but the fact or the point i was getting at is it's not just a temperature of one place this is the average i think this is the uh, this means the average temperature of the entire planet so it's not like not every single part on the planet is the same temperature you've got to remember i think 
the, the number the game gives you is an average temperature. So 37 as an average, that's going to be pretty hot overall. Like I'm pretty sure the hottest points on here could be going above 40 degrees. So yeah. But apparently 39 degrees is unbelievably hot. So anything higher than 30 or 40 is probably a little too hot for humans. So yeah, that is that. And there's a very strange bug. Like, look how weird. Like, the, it just looks different. Like, is the atmosphere on? Like, yeah, that is I, I, that is very weird. I don't know why they're doing that. They it should be getting darker here. I don't know why it's all the same brightness. Like, yeah, there's definitely something up with this update. They need to fix that. It looks weird. But yeah, it's, it's with all the planets as well. But anyways... And also another guy said about, um, yeah, there's a guy saying 30 degrees is not hot, but like I said, I just corrected that. It, it's not the temperature of one place. It's the average temperature of the whole planet, I think. So, yeah, that, let's get out of the way. So, um, there was also a guy who mentioned about Neptune is apparently half the solar system distance away from Uranus. So, if we look at it, honestly, I think I have to disagree. I, I'm sorry, but I disagree with that, I think. Because if we look here, like, the gap between Uranus and Neptune, like... That, that's a very small gap compared to, like, the distance between Sedna and the Sun. That is definitely not half the solar system. So, yeah, I want to, like, debunk that sort of, like, theory there, I guess. Like, yeah, Uranus and Neptune are not half the solar system away from each other. Like, yeah, that, that, that that's false. But anyways, let's get into the start video anyways. I just wanted to correct myself because this is more of, like, a correction sort of, like, redo video. So, so this is basically just going to... I'm just going to go over how I colonize them. So, Mercury. We'll start off with um, good old Mercury here. So, what I did was... <laughs> So, these are the settings I gave it. So, we'll go into materials first. So, I gave it 0.0354% water of the entire, like, so the water mass on here is barely anything, like, that. that's it. I also gave it a magnetic field so it gets protected from any energy or dangerous stuff coming from the sun. So, it is protected, so water wouldn't evaporate or anything like that. So, yeah, mercury's all protected, so that's pretty good. And I gave an atmosphere mass of, let's check it in ATM, so... Atmosphere mass of 2 or 24% of Earth. So it's a little smaller surface, or a little less surface pressure than Earth. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. So a little less surface pressure. So it's all good. Greenhouse effect of 48.7. It has 100% infrared emissiency. And it reflects 90% of the light it receives. So yeah, that's all good. Now if we go on to Venus. It has a, it reflects 80% of the light it receives. Or 81%. It has a, um, atmosphere or surface pressure of 0.746 that of earth so yeah a little more than mercury but it's further away we can also put the atmosphere back there as you can see we'll leave it off though and also we got we have a magnetic field here as well to protect it from the sun again so that's all good we'll also check the earth similarity here we'll quickly go back to mercury as well so yeah mercury 0 0.505 so it's a little not the most big chance in the world but life could live there and then venus 24 percent chance pretty much or 25 if you round it so yeah all good then we've got our magnetic field we've got our um yeah i won't read out the values for the water you can read it yourself pretty much here so 0 0.00281 percent water but you can pretty much just tweak around the settings honestly like you'll know the amount of, or the right amount of water when you want to do it like if you really want you could have like a massive ocean like this but the way the way i like it is a little bit of land like this so yeah that's all good actually that's one that's a little too much yeah like something like that like that's the way i like it anyways obviously we don't need to do earth because yeah that's already colonized to us so next up is mars so has um there's its water value so 0 0.006 pretty much there but yeah i don't need to keep reading that out so yeah, the whole north is covered there we also have a magnetic field on here, I believe, as we can see. So that's protecting it from any danger from the sun, like I said. And also go to the climate. So it has a, um, where is it, surface pressure of um, 0 0.356 that of Earth. So also less than the atmosphere of Earth. But it is a smaller object, you've got to remember. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. And it's a lot more colder compared to the other colonized planets here. So only 6 degrees average temperature. And I'm still sure it's average temperature. It is warming up, I believe. But anyways, next up is Jupiter. So, Jungle Jupiter. So, it's currently at 18 degrees. A lot darker here, but there we go. And obviously, Jupiter already came with a magnetic field, which is massive. It still has the magnetic field of the old gas giant Jupiter, so that's all cool. So, I haven't played around with that set in there. So, if we go into the options here, there's its amount of water it has on it. Then we go to the temperature. We have 330 atmosphere pressures of Earth. So, yeah, that's the only way I could get it so it could have liquid water. But, yeah, we're all good. And it does have a... um. A life a likelihood here so yeah life probably could live here but we may have need because it has so much pressure atmosphere pressure we could probably get crushed so i don't know if we could actually live on these but 
they still they still are pretty much colonized so next up we got like the um tropical saturn I, I think i called it so yeah that's pretty cool so if we look at the stats here as well so already has the magnetic field it originally came with we've also got our life or earth similarity life likelihood options there so we've got a um, there's the water amount then we've got the temperature 660 pressures of earth for atm there so it also reflects 34 percent of the light it receives and let's quickly go back to jupiter so jupiter reflects only 6% of the light it receives, so due to it absorbs a lot more. So next up is Uranus, so a lot further away here. So it's more of a, I made it look more like a mountain world, so as you can see I pull it, the, the colours as white, so it looks more of like a mountainous sort of world. Still has a little bit of water on it obviously though, so there we are. Has a surface pressure of 2875 ATM, so this is the only way I could get it above positive degrees here, like if I had it lower like it would just freeze up so yeah that is that sadly it reflects 77 percent of the light it receives so that's pretty good there's also it's water stats and also the magnetic field it came with again so that's all that and then next up we have neptune so um here we go and yeah there we go so there's neptune and yeah this is more of a water world i made this still got land though so it's all good yeah, what is up with this? You see how the planet goes white when I go left to right? I don't like that. I, I, I think that's a bug or something. But yeah, there's its magnetic field it came with again. Has its Earth similarity, life likelihood. There's its percentage of water again. Next up, we have 4,043 atmosphere masses of Earth. So that is crazy there. But that's the only way I could get it to 23 degrees or above in above um, negative temperatures. So yeah, there we go. There is all of our planets colonized. So if we speed up time, as you can see, they should stay... Um, they should stay the way they are, they shouldn't change, so yeah, here we go, all like that. Yeah, they're all staying the same temperature, so if we look at um, the radius here, so planet 9 still can't colonise that side, so Jupiter staying at an easy 16 degrees, wait, it's at play, so there we go. Saturn is at a nice easy 20, Uranus is at 15, Neptune is at 23, obviously Earth is at 25, and it's cooling and stuff, she keeps changing. Venus is similar to Earth as we look here, pretty much the same temperature as Mars. 25 it was heating up a lot hot here so it gets up to a maximum of 30 mercury seems to be getting probably the hottest out of all the planets now so the closest is the hottest now so yeah there we go so that is all of it for the video since there's nothing else i actually need to um do now because this is just a shortened video if you want us to go and watch the full video where i did all of the customization all that good stuff yeah i'll leave a um a little like thing to click on at the end of this video so yeah that is that so next video which is part two, because this isn't part two, remember, this is just a, like, a shortened version, but, yeah, so, I'm probably, for the next episode, so, I've got, I'm definitely going to be doing Pluto, I'm going to do Iris here, I'm doing Make Make, and I'm going to try and do Sedna, so, should I do stuff like Orcus, yeah, I will do Orcus, but is there any more of these guys I should do, like, Hemea, um, this one here, I'm not going to try and pronounce that, I'm definitely going to try Ceres as well, but, yeah, any more of these guys you, I should do, so, if we look in the list here, yeah, which one of those should I do? I'm not going to, Vesta and Charlinko here, That I can't do them because they're they're too small. But yeah, any of these other objects apart from Planet 9, what should I do? Because I'm definitely doing Pluto, like I said, Pluto, Iris, Sedna, Orcus and Make Make. So, wait, is Make Make, where is Make Make? It's not even here, it should be here. Or Make Make if you're American, I think that's how you guys call it. But yeah, there we go. So that is that. So yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed this shorter video if you um, didn't want to watch the 54 minute one. Because that is quite long, I know. But yeah, this is basically the short and down one. So yeah, next episode, Pluto. Pluto is going to be quite fun to do, I think. So yeah, that is that. So um, yeah. So make sure you leave a like, subscribe on our journey to 400 subs now. And yeah. I'm not, we're not going to really start the main challenge yet, like to 400, because it was still we hit our goal before the end of the month. So I'm going to stop going on about it until the new month starts. So yeah, it's all good. So just going to be like, say like, leave a like. I won't mention about the 400 goal anymore. So yeah, it's all good. Yeah, I'll start mentioning that once we get into the new month. So yeah, all good stuff. Anyways, how many times I feel like I use the same vocabulary like every video, or is that just me? I don't know. It's weird. But anyway, I said it again. Anyways, like. Why I see that but anyway I'll, I'll put it that way so hopefully you all enjoy the video well if you zoom out the sun glow i love this i love the sun it's just cool and there's a weird thing as well it's i don't know why the sun has got an orbit here it's like a weird glitch in this simulation this isn't my this is the water world simulation as well i made a save there but anyways i said it again anyways i'm, I'm crazy I'm, i swear i'm crazy but yeah that is that so um yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and all that good stuff and help us on our journey to 400 now. So, yeah, that's that. And I'll see you in the next video. 
goodbye.